and there's no option for the window sizes there are some location permissions as you probably saw and one binder oh create your solution and contact us for help Alright, hello everybody, and in this video we'll be having a look at the binders database, so what I'll do is I'll cut the video and I'll be back. Alright then, so we're going to have a look at binders database, and obviously it will be a database app as the name will depict and we're having a look at database apps for a few reasons actually one of them is that you might be using your Chromebook in a colleague situation and you might not want to switch back to Windows because when I was doing my IT level 2 course we had to do databases then and we also had to use Microsoft Access but that meant that I would have to go back using a Windows PC because my Chromebook couldn't run Microsoft Access but well it could but I would need the Office 365 and I would need to pay and I wasn't willing to pay for Office 365 so I was thinking that there must be database apps on Chromebooks that they must do which would be like Microsoft Access and there are actually so what I'll do is I'll get my microphone set up and I'll be back all right then so the microphone is all is all set up now so we're going to have a look at the binders database uh, so it's just called binders actually so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm actually going to go into the permissions section and there's no option for the window sizes although I have allowed the storage permission there are some location permissions as you probably saw oh, I hope there is no I hope there is no phone view option all right then sir if it's in a phone view unfortunately you are gonna have to put up with that because the window option keeps on moving too quickly before I can put it into tablet mode so I do hope it's not in a window view okay so there's an add option press the button to open the menu press the button to open the menu binders zero binders zero binders, zero binders. add I'm going to click on add add one binder add one binder 
Take a look at the examples to learn more. Oh, create your solution and contact us for help. Oh, World Atlas. I'm just going to type in name actually. The fuel consumption. The fuel consumption looks an interesting one. Add one binder. So this so far the app doesn't really look like Microsoft access to me in the fact that it hasn't got options like your IDs and your data types and like your date and times and that. And we did have a look at Portive, Portive database or however you want to say it. And even though it was good for beginners, it still had date and time and that. And also the database model alike. That is a really complicated app, but even that had date and time. And it also had the VAR, CAR thing. Oh, main page. Yeah, so I would recommend those portable apps and the database modeler, modeler light. So far that is. Button. Settings. I'm not using the touchscreen Chromebook. Two form types. Fill. Oh, okay. Alright, field types. So you probably would have field types on access. Six numbers. One text. One day. Two links. Two links. Zero style markup. Multilingual text. Oh, multilingual text. Six numbers. So these types are sort of like templates, it looks as though. Which is really interesting. But what a lot of people would like to do is they would like to create a blank database, like myself, of course, and personalize it to how they would want. Yeah. Okay. Let's try one more time. All right, sadly, we're going to have to leave it there, I'm afraid. We've still got the first screen as in the first place. So. Back. Yeah, so I think sadly we're going to have to leave it there and say that there's two add buttons there, so, so let's click on that quickly. Add one binder. Confirm. Example. Dot. World Atlas. Button. 
Okay. Binders, binders, button. You can just bind back to add two binders, button, add settings, yeah. button name, set, button, button, press button. Yeah, so. Button, 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 bind back. I don't think I'm going to waste any more time and say that this app is actually a bit disappointing in my opinion. It is also very difficult to use and a bit complicated and I think that's because it has very few options to it uh, like fields and that and I think a lot of people personally would want to be creating their own fields. There are templates there that you can rely on but again personally I'd rather not rely on templates and instead create my own and I think that's what a lot of people would be doing as I said again and also in colleague situations you would be required to create your own template and that so that is that. Also there's not a lot of technical options as well but then we didn't really see that but you know again that's something to be aware of and overall if you want a database app I recommend the Portive database as that is very good for beginners and, and newcomers uh, but you can also go for the the database modeler which is actually very technical and it actually has lots of data types and although the technical aspect might be good for colleges if you are experimenting it might not be good for you so if you are experimenting in this case I'll recommend the port of database and if you are in a colleague situation possibly use port of but have a go at the database modeler okay then I hope you've enjoyed this video Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos to come and I will see you soon.